Just about set to kick off here, and it's not a home game for either of these teams. And now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. From his own goal line, he's to the 20, across the 30. And they finally tackle him at the 40-yard line. The Cougars have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy to football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be a line to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game or some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. From the 39-yard line, second down. Hey, Mike, 20, Mike, 20. Play fake. He's going to go for the home run. Tackle made at the six. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Around five yards on the delayed handoff. That brings him second and goal. Defense comes out in a 4-4. They need a big play here. Bring him down. Change your quarterback, Kirby. You gotta wonder what that's gonna do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. Still eight yards away. Now it's third and goal. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. This to try to put his team up by a field goal. It's up, and it splits the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackle at the 36-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Got a man in and out of his hands. Make the stop at the 37. They just kind of spun their wheels here, but credit to defense with not giving up any ground. Gibson is waiting for the snap. And he has it on the corner. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 45. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. He's at the 40. At the 30. 
Big opening for the 20. Touchdown. Huge play. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Williams takes it the 14, gets to about the 27-yard line. It's not quite a blowout, but unless they do something here, it might turn into one. He's on the run. And he's tackled at about the 29-yard line. From their own 29-yard line, second down. And they get nice yardage on that run. Third down. He's at midfield, and he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. He got the first down and much more. I'll tell you what, this guy is a threat every single time he touches the ball. From the 47-yard line, it's first down. the 37 yard line it's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this it makes an offense so much more versatile they'll bring him down right around the 26 yard line the offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Short pass, middle of the field. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Taken down in the backfield. It's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss. But this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it, and the holes will start to open up. Here's the eighth play of the series. Mike four, Mike four. Hey, pick your game up. Let's go. Complete brought down, nothing doing. A yard if they're lucky on that pass play. It wasn't a huge gain here, but at least you know as a quarterback that when you throw to this senior, you're putting the ball into some sure hands. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and he got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. to the 20. Brought down at the 32. The Cougars are having their way on offense so far in this football game. Just a nice rhythm to what they're trying to do. It's a balanced attack, running and throwing, and right now this defense just can't stop them. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 10-3, Cougars. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Makes it out to about the 43. From their own 43-yard line, first down. And down. 
down he goes at the 40-yard line. Well, he's known for locking down receivers, but that doesn't mean he won't come up and lay the lumber on the ball carrier. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. They come out in a five-wide set. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, well, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. He's taken down at the 20-yard line. That makes it second and From their own 20-yard line. Second down. And he is drilled at the 21. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. from their own 21-yard line. Third down. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds. Around the 36-yard line. their own 36 yard line first down and they get the sack man it's an offensive lineman this is the worst thing that you want to see it's your quarterback not only getting sacked but getting hit like that those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it Stopped immediately. Third and twelve. Ball on the thirty four yard line. field tackle. They've got 10 guys up. It looks like they're going to try to block this one. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. The Cougars offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game, even though he's not having great stats. He's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up this thing. But this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention. It really is a decoy to open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. From the 50, it's first down. Hey, 
Fires out to his receiver. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. And he hauls it in. Tackle at the 23-yard line. From the 23-yard line, first down. Receivers got the first down. What a play, and that is first and goal. Nice catch that time in coverage. Yeah, excellent job of hauling that one in. This is why he's considered by many to have one of the better set of hands today in college football. Throws to the tight end, and that ball's incomplete. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the six-yard line. And it pays off. Touchdown. Punches it into the end zone for the second time today. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. It's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Williams takes it at the 16. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Wildcats will use their first time out of the half. So it's second and 14. Ball on their own 20. You're not going to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. He's level at the 28. A gain of eight on the carry. The Cougars are going to call their second timeout. Out of bounds around the 33-yard line. I don't know what game plan this offense is running, but it might need to be reassessed by this coaching staff. Gibson awaits the snap. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. The Cougars are just cruising through this first half where it'll be really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. So now the offense comes back out, hoping for the same success they had on their last drive. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now it's really paying off. Second it's second and seven. Ball on the 30-yard line. Makes the catch and look out. And he's finally shoved out at the 42. You can chalk that one up to the hundreds of passes the quarterback has thrown to this receiver in practice. These guys know and trust each other. And you could see it in the way he threw that pass. First and 10. Ball on the 42. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five receiver look. And they make the stop right around the 20. 
makes it first and ten. From the 20 yard line, second down. Tackles him hard at the 15-yard line. Quick strike, and it's caught for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. With only a few ticks left on the clock before halftime, I would expect they'll just squib kick this one. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Makes it out to about the 39. First half comes to a close as they head to the locker rooms. 24-3, Cougars. David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Cougars continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 24. And he's tackled the 37-yard line. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 37 yard line, it's second down. There he goes. It's picked up, brought down at the 46. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at about the 49. plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From midfield, second down. He's tackled at the 49-yard line. The thing about the option is you're going to have some negative plays, but if you keep running it, it'll create some big play opportunities. Here's the eighth play of the series. Go 
Going deep. Lays it out there. Incomplete. And that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Gibson to punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Taken down at the 28-yard line. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's at midfield, and he's finally taken down at the 46. When you combine his speed as a runner with the strength of the offensive line, you have the potential for some long runs. First and 10, ball on the 46-yard line. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's a game of 13 on the way. First down. Run, run, run. <laughs> nice run there. So it's second down and about two yards to go. That makes it second and two. Gets out to around the 18. And they get nice yardage on that run. Gain of six on the draw play. That brings him second and five. This is the eighth play of this drive. At the one yard line. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. There's another. He's having quite a game. Three rushing touchdowns now. Boy, this guy's been huge today. It's been a big part of the reason that his team has the lead. He hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Wildcats are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes. Try to get a little bit of momentum created and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. From their own 25 yard line, second down, five wide. He's scrambling, and they got it. That's a loss of seven yards. So the sack makes this third and very long. Hammerhead! 
Going deep. He's taken down at the 40. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. They pick up good yardage that time on the pass play. Here they kind of put pressure on the quarterback and challenged him to find the hole in the defense. And in this case, he did. Nice job. So at the end of three, the Cougars in front, 31-3. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I are praying. Dumps it complete over the middle. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. And they're moving the ball well because this quarterback hasn't thrown an incompletion yet on this drive. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. That's a deep Second and two. Ready. The ten. And they're in. Touchdown. He just put his eyes on that end zone and ran with some real purpose there. And he adds the extra point. It was a seven-play, 76-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And down he goes at the 41. Boy, this is one of those days when everything is clicking for an offense. These guys have been executing, and that's the reason they have such a nice lead. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He makes it to the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. made around the 23 yard line first down From the 23 yard line. Second down. Fires quickly to the tight end. Tackle right around the 14 yard line. Number 38 brings him down at the 14 yard line. That'll make it 31. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line.
And they make the stop at the three-yard line. It's second and goal. Ball on the three-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Let's see if they can put this one in. Here's a handoff, and he saves the score. away and it sails through the uprights and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff nice kick plenty of distance this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. We have less than a minute to go. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception, and what's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Fires out to his wideout. And he's tackled right around midfield. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skill players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. He makes it to the 48-yard line. Two-yard gain on the quarterback keeper. Well, the defense here did a great job of sealing up the hole with the line of scrimmage. From the 48-yard line. It's second down. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Wildcats using their third and last timeout from the 36-yard line. Second down. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Caught, and he's hit immediately. The Cougars, coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.